Measure the inductance of the maglev electromagnet when the coil has levitation current, but the ball will not be levitating. Here is a diagram of the test circuit. The electromagnet has resistance and inductance. The diode should not affect the measurement provided that current moves down rather than up. Measure R1 with a multimeter before connecting the circuit. Adjust the power potentiometer to about the same resistance as R1. Connect the oscilloscope. Select a voltage that yields the same current as the levitation current. Close the switch. Capture first order step response. Measure the time constant from which inductance can be calculated. This is a disturbance response under levitating conditions. The air gap is nearly 13.5 millimeters. And the levitation current is nearly 836.32 milliamps. Measuring the inductor resistance, this is the inductor model. No power is applied. The ground wire is not connected. And the resistance is 3.4 ohms. Select an external power resistor, which is 1 amps max, 25 ohms max. Adjust the resistance to approximately the same resistance as the uh, inductor. 3.3 ohms. Connect the power resistor in series with the electromagnet and adjust the current to approximately the levitation current. Connect the oscilloscope probe across the power resistor Set the oscilloscope to trigger near the left-hand edge of the screen and then complete the circuit by connecting to the power supply. And we have our first order step response. Use the cursor to measure this voltage. Select the cursors, measure voltage, set one to the highest level, set the other to the lowest level, and you can adjust it and read the total voltage from low to high. Then, then calculate the voltage at the first time constant, which is 0.632 times that peak value. Then adjust the upper cursor to one point that voltage, in my case it's 1.61, a 
I'll use 1.62, that's the closest. Then I'll move that time constant point to one of the grid lines. I'm going to move it right, just a half of a division. So moving it right, half a division. I know the first time constant occurs at the one, two, third vertical grid line. Then change the cursor to measure time. Move the first cursor to the beginning, t equals zero. Move the second cursor to the third grid line. And that's the time constant, 14 milliseconds. And then calculate the inductance. Since the time constant is 14 milliseconds, and the total resistance of this circuit is 3.4 ohms plus 3.3 ohms, the measured inductance is 93.8 millihenries.